everyone, this is Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to evaluate only one integral. So let's get started. So evaluate integral of sine cube x minus cos cube x by sine square x into cos square x dx. Okay. So in the denominator, we are having one term. And in the numerator, you are having two terms. So what you can do is, since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so you can split the whole fraction into two fractions. Okay. Firstly, you get sine cube x by sine square x into cos square x minus cos cube x by sine square x into cos square x to the x. Okay. So in the numerator you are having sine cube x but in the denominator you are having sine square x. So you can split this sine cube x as sine square x into sine x. Okay. Likewise in the second term you will have you are having cos cube x in the numerator and cos square x in the denominator so you can split this cos cube x as cos square x into cos x so this is the equation integral of sine square x into sine x by see sine square x into sine x will be sine cube x by write the denominator as it is minus so you'll write this numerator as cos square x into cos x by sine square x into cos square x. Okay. Cos square x into cos x will be cos cube x. So now you can cancel sine square x, sine square x, cos square x, cos square x from the numerator and the denominator. It will be easy to cancel. Okay. Or else you can cancel directly. So you get sine x by cos square x minus cos x by sine square x into dx. Okay. Since we know that sin x by cos x equals to tan x and 1 by cos x equals to secant x and cos x by sin x is cot x and 1 by sin x is cosecant x. So you could write it as integral of so you are having cos square x, the denominator, but you are having only one sin x in the numerator. So you would write it as sin x by cos x into cos x minus, see cos x into cos x is cos square x minus cos x by, you can write this sin square x as sin x into sin x to dx, okay. This is equal to integral sin x by cos x into 1 by cos x minus cos x by sin x into 1 by sin x into dx. Okay. You are having sin x by cos x into cos x, right? So, you can write this sin x by cos x as one fraction into 1 by cos x as another fraction minus cos x by sin x into one fraction and 1 by sin x into another fraction. So, that it will be easy to use the formula. Since sin x by cos x is tan x, replace it by tan x and 1 by cos x is secant x minus cos x by sin x is cot x into 
1 by sin x is cosecant x into dx. Okay. So this equals to integral tan x into secant x dx minus integral cot x into cosecant x dx. Since we know that integral secant x tan x to dx equals to secant x plus c and integral cot x into cosecant x dx equals to minus cosecant x plus c. So now you can apply the formula. Okay. This becomes integral secant x tan x is secant x minus integral cosecant x into cot x is minus cosecant x plus integral constant c. So this equals to secant x minus into minus plus cosecant x plus integral constant c. So this completes the problem. Fine. So we have seen a problem in this video from integral. So we will understand. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.